the format of the robot. On July 18, 2019, at 3.45 p.m., an unknown SpongeBob episode named, UNK, aired on Nickelodeon. Such an episode has never actually been created by the producing company, United Plankton Pictures. Despite its mysterious nature and origins, Nickelodeon never made an official comment on the strange broadcast, and only a few small media outlets documented the event. The obscurity and undocumented nature surrounding the incident appears to have been deliberate. In the days following the incident, local investigators attempted to ascertain the cause of the broadcast. Despite their best efforts, its creators and origins remains a mystery. Investigators were unable to view the episode, after the initial broadcast without entering the links specified in the broadcast, see below. Furthermore, the dangerous nature of the website, and its eventual destruction hampered investigations even more. Due to the obscurity of the broadcast, many media outlets did not report it, there were only a few amateurish investigators. The lack of competence resulted in those responsible never being found. The SpongeBob episode in question broadcasted from 3.45 p.m. to 4 p.m. on July 18, 2019. The title screen and intro was skipped, and the broadcast started immediately. The camera point of view never changes for the duration of the episode. SpongeBob and Patrick are sitting at the same table in the Krusty Krab. SpongeBob is holding a white piece of paper, while Patrick looks at SpongeBob. The scene does not change for the duration of the episode. There are occasional moments where a character speaks, but unfortunately, the voice is muffled and cannot be discerned. A fish occasionally walk in and out of the restaurant to dine in and exit. Squidward takes orders while Mr. Krabs stands next to him, and looks at the camera. All characters appear oblivious to the fact that SpongeBob is not working, with the exception of Patrick. An unknown fry cook appears to be making Krabby Patties in the kitchen. The music is absent for the entire episode. The art style and animation is slightly off, with the art being much sharper and characters badly photoshopped, along with sloppy and jagged animation sequences. The sound effects are also normal. Mr. Krabs occasionally deviates from his position to return to his office, usually for no more than a couple seconds before returning to his position, and staring blankly at the camera. The episode switches to a black screen with white text saying, For Russia. Look immediate. Immediate. It then abruptly ends at exactly 4 p.m., and broadcasting returns to normal. The top left of the screen showed a link, colored in white, b22.spongefanblack.com. The link is currently defunct for unknown, possibly deliberate, reasons. The reason why the broadcast was so widely investigated by many small groups, was due to its reference to the mysterious website, b22.spongefanblack.com. When opened, the website quickly injected a virus into the user's operating system. It would then automatically create several files simply titled, encryptedsin.txt. The number in, ranges from 5 to 629. The text files contain encrypted text, most likely programming code in a compiled programming language. There is also a C file, which simply contains a string of numbers. Additionally, there are five files called ranging in and from one to five titles, key in dot png. The system returns an error when attempting to read these files. The virus infected an estimated 400 users. Several groups attempted to contact Nickelodeon for help on finding the origins of the broadcast. However, Nickelodeon simply said, We are not allowed to give out information. We also heavily discourage any investigations on the website due to its nature. Investigators eventually found a copy of the website's code, and attempted to locate all information contained therein. The code was heavily encrypted via a Vigineer cipher, and when decoded, contained a file called, detonate.txt, which contained a 20-digit passcode. The reason for its existence wasn't known, until the key.png images were revisited. This time, when the numbers in detonate.txt from 5n4 to 5n was entered for the key in.png image, the error went away, and the display image was shown. Each file, except the fifth, contained an image of a paper with a name and a nine-digit code. The rest of each paper's text was illegible with the exception of, activate in 10 years, to Russia, written in bold. 
The exact meaning of these documents remain unknown. In the fifth file, there is a pitch black image. Use of stenography showed that it contained a string of letters. This string does not appear to be a part of regular ciphers, and appears to have been handcrafted specially. All known decryption techniques have failed to translate the string. During investigation, all files and the entire website was completely taken down and reset. All files were simultaneously deleted off of the hard drive of every team's PC, as noted in their notes. Additionally, another MP3 file was uploaded onto their devices via unknown methods. It played audio of a man whispering. Stop looking for any answers. We are still watching you. All further investigation attempts failed, and no further information could be gathered.